Romans 8 35 to 39. 35 Who shall ever separate us from the love of Christ? Will tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? 36 Just as it is written and forever remains written, for your sake, we are put to death all day long, we are regarded as sheep for the slaughter. 37 Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors and gain an overwhelming victory through him who loved us, so much that he died for us. 38 For I am convinced, and continue to be convinced, beyond any doubt, that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present and threatening, nor things to come, nor powers, 39 Nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing, will be able to separate us from the, unlimited, love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Valentine's Day is a holiday for most people who are in a loving relationships, exchange gifts, and spend extra time together. The true meaning of Valentine's Day was a day set aside to remember those who were persecuted, killed, and martyred for his love of Jesus by those who wanted to stop St. Valentine, Valentinus, from sharing the gospel. Valentine Barrio Ochoa, was a third-century clergyman and physician, of the Roman Catholic Church. During Valentine's time as a priest, the emperor of Rome Claudius II, had a hard time getting soldiers for wars going on, because a man was not allowed to serve in the military once he was married. As a result, Claudius made marriage illegal, but St. Valentine disobeys Claudius' order because he believes in the institution of marriage that the Lord made man and woman to do at the time of creation. Genesis 2 18-24. Valentine was arrested for performing a wedding and he was locked up. Valentine was sent to Judge Asterius, under house arrest and a relationship began between the two. Asterius would ask Valentine about Jesus because Asterius was a non-believer of the story of the Son of God. Judge Asterius put Valentine's faith to the test and asked him to heal his adopted daughter's blindness. Valentine put his hand on the girl's eyes, and said this prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, enlighten your handmaid because you are God, the true light. And the little girl had vision. After this amazing miracle, the judge asks how he can be saved. Valentine's answer was that the judge should remove all the idols from his house and he is baptized. The judge listened to Valentine's and not only was he baptized, but all of his 44 members of his household. Not only that the judge set free all the Christian prisoners from his jail. The emperor had Valentine arrested for evangelizing, he didn't want to condemn Valentine to death but asked him if he would deny his faith in Jesus. He gave Valentine a choice, deny Jesus or be beaten and beheaded, Valentine refused to deny Jesus' name, so he died a horribly painful death. After his death, a note was found on Valentine written to the girl who received vision by his faith in Jesus and praying on for her, and the note was, Your Valentine. On February 14, 269 died for his agape love for Christ, and that day was set aside because of his unconditional love for Jesus. How is your love for the Lord Jesus Christ, is it unconditional, would you do it if it was against the law, or even while locked up, if you were given the choice to have a pleasant life or receive a horrible painful death to say you love Jesus Christ, no matter what? Valentinus did and a holiday is celebrated to help us remember that romance and love is wonderful. God bless you all, the Lord Jesus loves you and so do I Samuel J. Head. Song of Solomon 7:10. I am my beloved's, and his desire is for me. 1 Corinthians 13:13. 13, 13, but now faith, hope, and love remain, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Need more help? Chat on WhatsApp.